There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol and then zap it with the laser. Oh, I understand. Okay, so I have to get it to climb up on the wall. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Okay, okay. That makes sense. No. 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 Alright. Next puzzle. Who's that guy? Hey, look, it's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating. What the? That's a Quark Vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypass the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogram the graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean, it's... Uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive checksum on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to me with a device. May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. He, no true nerd would just give me their thing. Like, dude's a fake. He would not just, yeah, you can go ahead and take my first edition Quark comic. Dude, no one, you know, beat him up. No one has ever said that before. Alright, return to dropship. Here we go. So that's interesting. This whole level was basically just like a minor puzzle level. Alright. Interesting enough. Laser defense. I don't want to do that. Secure the area. I think we already did all this. Hit and run, part five. Yeah, we did all this. We can just can we just do it again for money? Okay. Oh, we would yeah, but it's less money. Okay, so we can redo them just for a little less money. All right, let's return to the ship for now. And we haven't really gotten to use our new gun yet, so hopefully on the next level, I'll just throw a whole bunch of enemies at us. So we can try to use it. Starship Phoenix. Yeah, Starship Phoenix. Yeah, because we gotta play we gotta play the comic book thingy. Go ahead, head back to our quarters. I don't really have enough money to buy anything, so there's no use going to any of the shops. Hello.
Hey monkey boy, I got a video game for you. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Indeed. Well, it's like a okay. All right, take like a little platformer. Ow. You just picked up an officially licensed quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. Bling bling, baby. The red ones are worth ten quark tokens. I gotta be a little bit more careful here. I'm already on 1 HP. Alright, let's go ahead and just give it a quick restart, huh? Because I'm... I gotta be a little bit more careful here. Just that rap, but... Okay, dude. I'm, like, horrendous at this. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. Yeah, I'm going to have to apologize far in advance. Or maybe I just won't get hit again. Either one. Okay. Alright. Nobody said this game was going to be easy. Oh, hey, there's, like, checkpoints now. Cool. Sorry, bro. Dude, I am... Woo! I am bad. I am bad to the bone. Yeah. So, if, if you guys go back on my channel, notice how many platformers I've played. Oh no. Yo, my monitor just went out. My monitor strip just went out. I'm looking at my third monitor. Oh, there's something wrong. Dude, my monitor's... Okay. Wow, that was weird. I know on your screen, absolutely nothing happened. On my screen, two of my three monitors just stopped working and they just went black. Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. Whoopsies. <gasps> I was close. Ouchie. And I'm dead. Dude, I, I, just, I don't I don't know how I'm like so terrible at this game. Like I maybe I just have to take my time a little bit. I'm, I'm getting a little too antsy, but like this is bad. Like, I'm very bad at this. And once again, I'll reiterate the point that you've never seen a platformer on this channel. There's a reason why. Platformers are by far not my strong suit. <coughs> Bless me. Okay, here we go. We need 11 more of these tokens. Okay. 
Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Yep, I did not wait for that lift. Hey, at least we got all 100. Mmm, a nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. Ew, ew. I'm gonna need more ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna need more ammo, please. A little bit more ammo, please. Unless I can kick it. Can I just kick the robot? There we go. How is he not dead? There we go. Apparently I needed one more shot. Okay. Well. Hey, we got the titanium bolt and we finished the level. Was it the smoothest thing? Uh, no. Not at all. That was pretty rough, actually. But... Hey, we made it, though. And we got 6k bolts from it. you love to see it. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I mean, what are they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. <laughs> Who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred. Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chat. Let's take a look at what he's up to. What a chat indeed. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Yeah, no sweat. Good luck, Fred. <laughs> Next. Another day, another death course. Sounds good to me. All right, let's, let's head on out. Oh, what's up? Um, <clears throat> I think there's one gun I can buy for 8K, but I'm sure there'll be a vendor the next place we go, so I'll just buy it then. Let's see, Annihilation Nation. Alright. 
That's where we're headed. Let's do this. Are you ready to play? All right, let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey. Give a warm welcome to Ratchet. Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. All right, here we go. Oh, man. This job is too much fun. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, shoot, they walked. I thought they were, like, they would be blocked. Will you let me through? Okay. Hmm. To strafe, hold down L2 or R2 while running. All right. This little guy can really move. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. Hey, buddy, didn't you just heal your friends die? Come on, man. Yeah, this gun is really strong. It seems to kill most things in one shot, which is kind of nuts. I'm very curious to see how good it is when we upgrade it a whole bunch. Yeah, probably. Oh, okay, so I just got a second issue. Very cool. Where's my gun? I was, I was promised a gun. Oh, is this the fighting portion? Alright, here we go. Yep, how about you guys? Back it right up, huh? <laughs> this guy's insane. He's out of his mind. He's wacko. Alright, come on. Is that all he got? Eric. Oh shoot, you got lasers and stuff. Yeah, I like this gun. This gun is pretty cool. Alright, for these guys, I feel like a whip would be more more useful. Let's go back to this. Ooh, he's got sharp teeth. I wonder if he's right. That guy's got a sword. You don't want to help him too much. Oh shoot, okay. Nope, I want to go to the whip. Ow. 
Okay, back to the spinning hydra. Now nah, I'm good. I'll pass on that ex-wife deal. Yeah, this gun's nasty, dude. Is there bolts over there? I want to get these bolts real quick. <clears throat> Alright, 8 out of 10. So we still got a little bit more to go. I got no more ammo. Okay. Inferno power it is. Alright, <clears throat> what should we use? Eh, actually the whip. Yeah, the whip is super strong. Yeah, the whip is insane, dude. It's actually even better than the 40k gun, to be honest. It's like, look, look it has such a far range. It's insane. Yeah, that whip is disgusting. I don't believe it, folks! He survived the death course! And here to give you your prize, Ew. the lovely Miss Courtney Gears! How about that, folks? He is better looking! Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> the time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this, but the President <clears throat> put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. Alright. So how, how do I use the disguise? Terrible 2. Ooh. There's a couple of fights that I can do beforehand. Well, let's do them. <clears throat> Terrible 2. Yeah, these two don't look so bad. Oh, that, that, that guy probably hurts. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use a different gun for these guys. To restart this fight, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and restart the fight. <clears throat> here we go. Now that we kind of know what we're doing here, we can restart the fight. Let's use our blaster first. Don't got too much left. Dang it. That was close. That was close, but... Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I jumped into the lava. He pushed me into the lava. All right, here we go. Great start so far.
Alright, whip it is. Alright, now we can go ahead and switch to this. We got. Hmm. That's all we got left. Let's go, baby. I was a little close, a little close, but we got it done. We got it done. Okay. What else we got? Robot rampage. Let's do it. It shouldn't be too hard. I hope. Do they restack my ammo? Okay. I was like, they better restack my ammo because. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Okay. I don't know why that didn't lock on to absolutely anybody, but sure. We got 12 rounds? Oh, okay. Noted. Be careful of the spinning blades. Okay. Okay, this might be a little harder than I thought, actually. Okay. But I want to save my whip for the final level, because the whip is by far the best. Okay, folks, time to play Luck on the Draw! I'm now pulling a ticket stub out of my hand. He's on a rampage, folks! Ow. Okay, I did not expect the floor to just fall out from under me. Okay. Shotgun tire. Ayo, another level. B4. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, wow, that's nasty. It, like, hits multiple people. Oh, wow. Alright, that's pretty good. I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty nasty. I'll save that for later. Oh, God. Do I have to kill that thing, or do I just have to survive it? I'm not actually sure. I'm pretty sure I just have to survive it. Come on, a little longer, a little longer. That's it, okay. 